49ers are benching quarterback Colin Kaepernick for Blaine Gabbert, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter in multiple reports. Kaepernick has passed for just 286 yards the last two games, and the Niners are 2-6. and six. He's failed to score a touchdown for the second straight game and third in five. Stephen A., what went wrong here? Well, what went wrong here is uh, the 49ers as an organization is laughable and inept, and they're reaping exactly what they have sown. Uh, if you hadn't gotten rid of Jim Harbaugh, this would not be happening. The fact is, is that even though, and I'll get to Colin Kaepernick in a second, regardless of how inept he appears, and he does appear inept at times, uh, if you're Jed York, if you're Trent Baalke, if you're the San Francisco 49ers nation, that fan base, that city, look right at the CEO and right at the GM because they put their personal interest in terms of a need to get along with the head coach ahead of winning, prioritizing winning. Even last year, as dysfunctional as everything appeared, you still ended up finished like eight and eight. Jim mm -hmm. Harbaugh had you respectable, okay? The three previous years, you were in an NFC championship game or the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And to sit there and to get in this man's way and to impede his ability to coach this franchise, you are reaping precisely what you sowed. You brought this on yourself, and you are getting what you deserve. That's number one. Number two, let's get to Colin Kaepernick. He has regressed. There is no question about it. And it really, really doesn't make sense when you consider the fact that his quarterback coach is now the offensive coordinator. So it's not like there's been an absence of continuity that's been there. He just doesn't seem to be developing. And just sitting in a chair and playing the role of couch psychologist here, whatever you want to call it. I look at a Colin Kaepernick that does not seem interested in playing the game of football with the people he plays for, the organization he plays for, and the teammates he plays with. Now, that's got to be primarily his fault because you got to be professional. Now, he goes out there, gets beat up. There's no question about it. You know, he's getting sacked, he's getting hit a lot. Uh, he doesn't have the requisite weapons to throw the football to the way that he once did because Torrey Smith and Anquan Bolden, maybe they're cutting it, maybe they're not. I don't know, but he doesn't, they don't seem to vibe with him, and he certainly wasn't vibing with Vernon Davis, according to the reports, which is one of the reasons why Vernon Davis is probably even more happy to be going to Denver, mm -hmm. even though he's not going to admit he's going to say, I love Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning. But here's the deal. If you're Colin Kaepernick, I know he can still run with that football. I know he can still make plays with that football. I know that in the right situation, he can help a team win on a football field. Don't tell me he's he's on a level of Blaine Gabbard. Blaine Gabbard ain't better than Colin Kaepernick. It's just that the situation is so dire that they had to make a change. I look at Colin Kaepernick's body language. He does. He appears incredibly indifferent and apathetic. He doesn't appear to want to be there playing for that organization in that system any longer. He's not the same Colin Kaepernick that was tugging away at the heels of Alex Smith, excited about playing the game of football. Mm -hmm. He seems to be an entirely different person, and I'm not going to blame it on a loss of ability. I'm going to blame it on a loss of interest. He needs to be moved. He doesn't just deserve to be benched. He needs to be traded. Philadelphia is what I think would be an ideal spot for him, me personally speaking, mm -hmm. but he needs to be traded. He needs a new environment. He does not want to be there any longer and it's written all over his face. Yeah, I agree with that. So let's trace what just happened. Mm -hmm. You recall we went back and forth that year, back in 2012, Harbaugh going back and forth between Alex Smith and Kaepernick, and I said I would just close my eyes and pl plunge and go with Kaepernick. Yep. Supremely gifted young man. Loved the way he threw, big velocity, big arm. And obviously, I love the way he could run with the football. And you remember that first playoff run, what he did to the Green Bay Packers at Candlestick Park? Mm -hmm. 181 yards rushing on 16 carries. Whew, what a show he put on. And they got all the way, as you remember, to the Super Bowl. And I thought there was pass interference on Crabtree in the end zone, but it's, it's, it's close. It's real close to winning that Super Bowl. And then the next year, he was sensational. 24 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. QBR fell just a little bit from 75 to 68, but they were really good. They won 14 games and lost five. And as you say, one throw, he just didn't quite get enough air under that throw that made Richard Sherman. And then Richard Sherman went off after that game. Yep. Remember, that's the NFC Championship yep. game. 
Then last year he regressed some more and he started to go into his shell and he started to look mad at the world. Every time I saw an interview, he seemed to have big chip on shoulder pads yep. and, and he just, I, I don't know what was going on. And then there are reports lately about that he's withdrawn from his teammates and mm -hmm. Adam Schefter reported that, that here in the last, I guess this last week, he actually started not wearing his headphones in the lunchroom. Like I, I'm going to take my headphones off so I'm going to actually so sure. try to communicate mm -hmm. with, with some of my teammates. That's on him. That's all his fault. But here's my bottom line to this. And I do agree with your Philadelphia idea. He, he deserves a fresh start somewhere where he's appreciated. But here's my problem. We just opened the show talking about Cam Newton. What has Cam done that, that a lot of the other quarterbacks no longer do? He's embraced who he is, yes. right? He runs with the football on occasion. When it's called for, now you don't love the power runs, but not the power but, runs, but I, but I love I, him running. I, I do too. I love him running, and it doesn't seem to bother him, and it seems to ignite his football team, and it makes it a little easier on him because it makes it so much harder on the defense to prep for that. Let me okay? say this to you. Colin Kaepernick does not deserve to be mentioned in the same breath as Cam Newton, but not because of talent. Look at Cam Newton's attitude. Look at how he infuses sure. the guys around him. Now, this is a guy that used to wear the towel over his head and Did. soak mm -hmm. and all of that he, other stuff. He, had his he does not, up he does not yeah. do that. Nope, he does. Cam Newton is a leader. He is. Cam Newton inspires guys around him. Guys love being his teammate. I don't see any of that. I don't know if about they used Colin. to do it for three, no, 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 four no. years But ago. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, but Colin Kaepernick, this ain't his first or second year. No. This dude has been around for four years. Colin Kaepernick doesn't seem, you don't hear anyone speaking up for him. No one. I know one. I'm talking about as a person. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how fair that is. Because, I, I mean, I don't know him seems to be pretty nice to me but if you're a guy that's to yourself mm -hmm. the reason why that's the antithesis of what a quarterback is supposed to be is because the quarterback needs everybody else to do their job mm -hmm. no matter how great the quarterback is you Tom Brady will look like Blaine Gabbard if everybody's dropping passes, running the wrong routes, not studying film, not understanding things, you know, not understanding the system. You need other guys. Mm -hmm. And as a quarterback, you have to inspire guys to want to be there. The fact that Vernon Davis could get traded and literally get out of bed and talk about, man, all I could think about was Peyton Manning. The fact that the Gronkowskis and Edelmans and Amendolas of the world, everybody talking, even Bill Belichick is right. Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady. The fact that you got teammates talking about how great Aaron Rodgers is as a talent and everything he brings to the table. Tony Romo, the way his teammates rave about him. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a quarterback that in any way alienates people. You just can't do it. Okay. On the NFL level, it will. It, it, it's taboo. And that appears to be what Colin Kaepernick has done. I don't know. I'm just saying it appears to be that way because of what everybody says when they're talking about him. And that's the problem. Okay. Back to my Cam Newton point. He continues to run with the football very effectively. And I don't know why, but last year, even under Jim Harbaugh, in San Francisco, Kaepernick quit running the read option. He is lethal on the read option, and he's safe with it. He is so gifted athletically. He'll slide. He, he gashes defense because he has such get, long strider to, to acceleration. To piggyback off your point, didn't we hear something along the lines of what Balky and York wanted him to be doing? I don't And know. how to some degree that, that was interfering with Harbaugh? Because what I'm saying is that Colin Kaepernick was playing one way for – a period of two to three successful years and it was flowing and then all of a sudden last year we saw a change Big and we change. and we didn't understand where it was yeah. coming no. from and if you watch Harbaugh coach in Michigan that's the guy that's coaching at San Francisco mm -hmm. so why would he sit up there and coach at San Francisco for three successful years all right coach at Michigan once he's gone from San Francisco the same way but for a particular year in San Francisco which happened to be his last there's a deviation something's wrong yeah. with that picture that doesn't make sense now I don't know if it's York bulky or if they had nothing to do mm -hmm. but it doesn't seem to make any sense that you coach this way no matter where you are at Stanford at San Francisco 
ran with the 49ers, now at Michigan. But one year, things change, which was your last year in San Francisco, okay? And that's just Jim Harbaugh. No, there's got to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. And who else would have the power to influence change? Okay. It could be Colin Kaepernick, too. Remember what Robert Griffin went through? He said, I am a pocket yeah, 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 passer. Yeah, Griffin, I do not run but, anymore. But Robert Griffin went through that because Haloti Nada almost, I know. almost took his leg off that his body. That has not happened to Kaepernick. That has not no. happened to Kaepernick. Yeah, so why no. would he do that? I don't know. And I've never heard him say that. We've heard Robert Griffin III say that. Yeah. We haven't heard that from Colin yeah. Kaepernick. No. So where is it coming from? I don't know. I, but it was under Harbaugh that it started. And listen, he, he's a... He's a good pocket passer, mm -hmm. but he is, seriously, he can be a great yes, he player can. with the, he can. the whole he can. package. But it means nothing, Skip, if you don't have guys that want to play with you. Yeah. And that's what you, I don't know, we don't know, but we got to literally ask those kind of questions with what we're seeing transpire, because there's no reason on earth why... Blaine, Blaine Gabbard should be playing before Colin Kaepernick. I mean, that's just a no, joke. He the fact that that's happening. Total QBR to your uh, come on, come on. I said before that yeah. draft, Blaine Gabbard can't play in the, this the, league. The fact Sorry. that yeah. that happened. Something's should, going on. Something's going 100%. on. Something's going on. Not to mention, I have it listed here, but the 12 notable players they lost since the end of last season. They lost a ton of their pieces as well, in addition to Retirement, injuries, etc. Yeah. yeah. I hope he gets traded. I hope he comes. Yeah. I, listen, I I'm wouldn't mind seeing Colin Kaepernick in Philadelphia would be special. Yeah. I think so. All right. What is, yeah, well, DeMarco Murray, Ryan Matthews, a read option, plus a couple of receivers to pass the ball to. I mean, that's not bad. Colin Kaepernick in Philadelphia. <laughs> that would be very interesting. All right, we'll leave it on that. Coming up, did you guys hear what Tiger Woods' former caddy had to say about his old boss? We'll tell you that in React on the other side.